Hello and welcome to my channel and this episode. But before we begin, please remember to like and subscribe if you would like me to do more videos like this. Affirmation is 99% of why people do social media and I'm not in the 1%. As I'm just beginning this channel, content is a little sparse, so please bear with me while I compile and produce these lovely little films touring the villages and towns of the UK. In this episode, we take a look at the town of Saltburn-by-the-Sea in the north of the UK. Until the Victorian era, Saltburn-by-the-Sea was a quiet coastal fishing village. Henry Peace, local MP and railway oligarch, recognised its potential as a seaside getaway for the rich, wishing to escape the unwashed poor and the filthy cities. Peace brought the railway down from Middlesbrough and began to develop the town into a resort, complete with pier, promenade and hotel. top there's some interesting steps. I think this must have been a solarium of some sort or maybe even changing rooms. The steps down have been fenced off and bricked up but you can still see what a grand place this was probably once. A bit further up the cliff top path come across these interesting benches. This one in particular is to a local musician who died quite recently. Looking to the north we can see Redka and Middlesbrough. While to the south we can see the pier. Saltburn Pier is the last remaining pier in Yorkshire and it's a Grade 2 listed pier. The pier began construction in 1867 and it was once the landing stage for a steamer that visited regularly, bringing visitors to the town. Access to the town from the pier was difficult because of the steep cliff. Then, in 1870, a local contractor built a cliff hoist, which lowered 20 people at a time to the beach. Sadly, by 1874, this lift was condemned due to rotting wood. However, it was replaced by this lovely funicular that is still in operation today. The funicular is water powered, meaning that the counterbalance fills with water and lowers the tram to the bottom, while the tram at the bottom rises to the top. Sadly, the funicular has been out of operation for the past couple of years due to Covid, and when I visited this place in February, it wasn't working then either, but it looked like they were gearing up for the summer. The seafront also has some lovely beach huts, and the pier head itself has an amusement arcade. It looks quite out of season, but it's still lovely. It has been said that legendary platinum medal winning surfer James Ellis began his training here in the late 90s. But really, you'd have to ask him that. The 
you can imagine the crowds on the beach maybe enjoying the sun or a paddle in the sea instead of the rain and the driving wind of February. 